Hello everybody, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet my small sized strawberry dog hat. So for this tutorial you will need 5.5 millimeter yarn in red, green, and then I just have this random white. And then you will also need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darting needle, and a total of five stitch markers. So let's get started. We're going to start with the red yarn and we're going to make a magic ring. If you don't know how to make one of these, I have a video on how to make one. And now we're going to single crochet six into this magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to pull this tight and single crochet into the first stitch. There we go. Now you have this little circle. And what I like to do is tie the back of it. And then get some scissors and cut it off. Just like that. Now we're gonna grab our stitch marker and put it into the first stitch. We zoom you in a little bit. All right. Now we're going to increase all the way around. So we're going to put two single crochets in every single stitch so that we have a total of 12 stitches. So we add another single crochet into the stitch we just did. Go over to the next stitch. Add two. And then do that all the way around until you have 12 stitches and I'll meet back up with you. Okay, now I have 12 stitches and then I single crocheted and put my stitch marker in. Now the next thing we're going to do is another increase. So we did our single crochet. Now we're going to do a single crochet increase, which is two single crochet in one stitch. Then we're gonna single crochet again. And then we're going to do an increase again. You're going to keep doing that all the way around, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, all the way around, and I'll meet back up with you. All done with that, so now I'm going to take my stitch marker out, single crochet into the next stitch, and then put my stitch marker back in. Now we're going to increase again. This time we're going to do two single crochet, then an increase. So one, two, increase. One, two, increase. Finish this round and then I'll be back up with you. All done with that round of increases and then I have single crocheted and put my stitch marker back. Now we're basically gonna keep doing this all the way until we get to five. So we just did two single crochet increase. This next down round we're going to do three single crochet then an increase. Then you'll do four single crochet and an increase all the way until you get to five single crochet increase. So I want you to increase all the way till you get to five and then I will be back up with you for the next step. All right, I'm all done with my increases. You should have 42 stitches all the way around. So we're gonna kind of pull this out a little bit and then you're going to grab your four other stitch markers and now we're going to make the spots for the ears. So I usually like to place them around right here this all depends on the size of your dog's ears. So if your dog's ears are smaller, you can make smaller holes. If they're bigger, you make bigger holes. 
you put them exactly the same on both sides like this and then on the bottom too and just like this now we're going to grab our crochet hook again and for this round we're going to single crochet to our first stitch marker take this one out single crochet in its spot and then we're going to chain 20. Now, then we're going to slip stitch this chain of 20, slip stitch it into the hole that our other stitch marker is in. Take the stitch marker out and then do a slip stitch. So now you have your little ear hole. We're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Single crochet till you get to the spot, chain 20, slip stitch in this spot, and then single crochet to your starting stitch marker. I'll be back up with you when I'm done. You can see I'm done with my second ear hole. Now what we're going to do for this next round is we're going to single crochet all the way to our chain. And then once we get to the chain, we're going to single crochet only in the first loop. So what we usually do is we put our stitch, our crochet hook through this whole stitch, but for just these chains, we're going to put them through the first stitch. So I'll show you. So you just take your hook and put it through the first piece of yarn and do a single crochet. First piece of yarn, single crochet. And you're going to do that all the way down this chain. Back to the beginning and your dog hat should be looking something like this. Now we're going to take the stitch marker out, single crochet, and then put the stitch marker back in. And these next three rounds are super, super easy. All you're going to do is just normal single crochet all the way around for three more rounds. So you'll have a total of four rounds of single crochets. Okay, I'm back to the beginning. Your dog hat should be looking something like this. Now, these next three rounds are super, super easy. All you're going to do is single crochet just all the way around for three rounds. So I will be back up with you when you're done with that for the next step. This is what your hat should look like. I finished all my rows. So now what we're going to do is remove the stitch marker. And then we're going to do a slip stitch. And then cut a piece of yarn. Pull it out, and then what I like to do is go on the inside, stick my hook in, grab the yarn, pull it through, and then I tie it. And then cut and push it in.
Now the next thing that we're going to do is make the straps for our hat. So you fold it in half like this so that everything's even. And then you take your the same red and you make a slip knot. Pull it tight. And then you take the right in the middle stitch and you make a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain 28. If you want, you can chain a few more or chain a few less. It, Like I said, it depends on your dog, but I just like chain 28. So I'll be back with you when I'm done with that. Now that I'm done with that, all we're going to do all the way down is single crochet. So you're just going to single crochet all the way down until you get to this end piece and then I'll show you what to do next. I'm to the end of my chain. So now what you're going to do is slip stitch into the stitch right next to the one you originally slip stitched into. Slip stitch into that and then cut a tail, pull your hook out, and then stick your hook into the same stitch, pull out that piece of yarn, and then do the same thing on the other side so that you have your two tails and then tie them together super super tight because you want this to be secure and then cut these two tails And there is your first strap. Do the exact same thing you just did on this side, on this side. And then I'll be back up with you to show you how to make the last step. Finished my second strap. So now what we're going to do is put that to the side. And then we are going to make the leaves. So grab your green. And let me zoom you in then we're going to make us a, a magic ring then the next thing we're going to do is single crochet six into our magic ring one two three, four, five, six. Then pull it tight and single crochet into the first stitch. Then tie it. snip off this little tail. Now you can put your stitch marker into the first stitch and what we're going to do is increase in each stitch. So do the same thing we did at the beginning of this dog hat. Two stitches in every single stitch. So then you have a total of 12 stitches. Now that I'm back to the beginning and I have 12 stitches, you can take your stitch marker out and we're going to make the little spiky leaves now. So single crochet and then chain four. One, two, three, four. And into the first chain, you're going to do a single crochet. 
In the second chain, you're going to do a half double crochet. And then in the third chain, you're going to do a double crochet. And then slip stitch into the stitch right next to the stitch you were just in. Then do another slip stitch after that slip stitch. And then do a single crochet. Do the same thing, chain four. One, two, three, four. Do a single crochet. Mm, single crochet. Do a half double crochet. And then do a double crochet. Do a slip stitch right next to the other stitch. And then we're not going to do another slip stitch. We're just going to do another single crochet because we want five leaves on here. And since the 12 is uneven, you have to sometimes do one, sometimes do two. So just one this time, just one slip stitch and then single crochet and then do chain three, I mean four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, slip stitch, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, slip stitch and do two slip stitches this time and now we're doing our last leaf single crochet and then chain four single crochet half double crochet and double crochet And then slip stitch. And there is your leaves. Now you're going to cut a decent sized tail and pull your hook out. And now all we need to do is assemble all of our pieces together. First thing we're going to do is attach the leaves and I like to use pins these little pins but you don't need to use them but I just make to use them to make it a little bit easier like stab it right through the center and then you can put it right through the center of the hat and then you can stick a few more in so that it stays Again, you definitely don't need these, but I just use them to make it a little bit easier. Now that you can see how it's gonna look, get your darting needle, and then thread your needle. And we are going to sew all the way around. How I like to sew it on is just go into the edges of the leaf. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it will stay on. So you go in right there and here. And 
just go all the way around your leaf until you get back to the beginning. And so my little leaf on, as you can see, it's nice and secure. So how I tie this off is I just go underneath and I go under one of these green pieces of yarn with my darting needle. And then I just, ooh, focus. I just make a few knots and that'll keep it really secure. Then you can just take your scissors and cut. Now for the very last step, we are going to take our piece of white yarn and we're going to sew on the seeds. So grab your white yarn and you can thread it through your, your darting needle. Then you can start anywhere, but usually I start on the right side. And then I work my way around. I got a super long piece of yarn, but you definitely don't need very much at all. I just like to be extra safe. You just make these little seeds all the way around. Sometimes the yarn can get caught. And you can make as many of them as you possibly could want. So you just keep doing that all the way around and I'll be back up with you and I'll show you my finished dog hat. I've completely finished putting my seeds on each side and I'm just going to tie off my white yarn. And how I usually just do that, uh, I just go on the inside and then I go through, focus, I go through these like little loops on the inside. Be careful that you don't go into one where you can see it from the outside because that'll mess up your seeds. Uh, work my way over to the strand that we started with. lost my yarn. Now that you're over here, I just like to tie these together, but you have to be super, super careful that you don't pull too tight or this seed right here, like I just did, it'll get super thin and then you won't be able to see it. So you have to be super careful when tying this that you don't pull that seed out. And then cut. And then there you go, your finished dog hat. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you make this dog hat, make sure to tag me on Instagram or TikTok. And I would love to see it.